Today I'm going to teach you a simple plug and play phrase to help express options so you can tell the person what they can and can't do and what you can and can't do. We're going to be utilizing the verb poder, which means to be able to. If we're translating from English, this is how we're going to translate can. I can do this, you can do that, etc. Now like most plug and play phrases, we're only changing the first verb and then we're going to plug in all the rest of our vocabulary. So let's start with I can, yo puedo. Now you know you can drop the yo and just say puedo and it will still mean I can. So this is the construction. If I want to say I can do something, it's yo puedo plus the unchanged verb. This is a really useful construction when asking for consent. Puedo revisar tu bolsa? Can I search your bag? We can use this construction with the verb buscar, which means to look for. Puedo buscar armas en tu carro? Can I look for weapons in your car? Now, if we want to say you can, we say tú puedes. And we can drop the two because puedes can only mean you can. This is how we're going to tell people what they can and cannot do. To make it negative, all you do is put a no before puedes. No puedes manejar. You can't drive. This is useful in cases where the person doesn't have a driver's license or has a suspended license. This is a useful way to give people their options. Puedes hablar con el detective. You can speak with the detective. Now, if we're talking about a third person in the singular, he, she, John, whatever, we're going to use puede. Now, unlike when we use puedo, I can, or puedes, you can, when we speak in the third person, it's important to mention who the person is to avoid confusion. El testigo puede ir a la fiscalía. The witness can go to the state attorney's office. I think you're getting the hang of this. This is third person plural. Pueden. This is for groups. When you're done with your investigation, you can say, Las víctimas pueden salir. The victims can leave. If you're seeing this video as part of the Functional Police Spanish program at RooForMe.com, be sure and go through all of the exercises to really get this down pat before moving on. That's it for today. Be safe out there.